Let me just tell you this. Bate, bate, chocolate. <laughs> Greetings and welcome back to another Chocolicious episode of the podcast. I'm your host as always, Jason Oliveira. With us today is four very select, cheap and to not cheap chocolate bars. Starting over here, we have the Landsmark Confections coming from the Dollar Tree. It is $1.25. It is our second heaviest bar at 3.5 ounces. Coming up next from Walmart is the Great Value with 30% cocoa solids. I don't know what that means, and I honestly don't give it a shit. It is the heaviest bar at 3.52 ounces, and it costs you $1.12. Next, we've got the classic Hershey's bar at $1.17. It is the lightest bar at 1.55 ounces. And finally, the most expensive bar, the Feastables by Mr. Beast, is $2.57, and it weighs in at 2.1 ounces. What do you think of that? Took me a while to get through that. Anywho, we're going to try all of these. One of these is going to be the winner, and that winner is going to be coating some nice Swedish fish that I'll be doing a review of. That's right, milk chocolate, Swedish fish. Doesn't that sound delightful? But let's start with the Dollar Tree, our second heaviest bar. One of the, actually the second to highest expensive bar out of all of them. But you're getting so much more when you compare it to like a Hershey's bar that's a 1.55. You're doubling, over doubling what you're getting here. Is it better? I don't know. Should we start with the Hershey's? No, let's just start with the Dollar Tree here. The Confections, lands down Confections. Let's take a good look at this bar and see if it resembles a Hershey's bar. Yes, it looks like a very cheap version of a Hershey's bar. There are no logos or anything like that. So what we're going to do for each of these is we're going to break off a brick, and we're going to eat it, and I'm going to score it, and then at the end we'll tally it all up and decide who the winner is. Here we go. All right, not a bad chocolate bar. Nothing really significantly jumps out about it for me. I'm going to start it out at a five. That's what we're going to start with. It may move around, it might go up, it might go down. We don't know yet. As we move along, things might change. Speaking of moving along, let's move on to the Walmart Great Value, the heaviest of the bars, one of the cheaper of the bars, though. What was the cheapest? Shit, I threw my thing. Hang on. So if you are looking for a great value, this is the best value out of all of them. I don't know how the flavor is going to be. I don't think I've ever had uh, a milk chocolate bar from uh, Great Value from Walmart. We did that video before where we compared all the other Great Value candies, the Snickers, the uh, Milky Way, the Twix, the Kit Kat, just to see which one weighed up, which one was better. Which one, I cannot get into this goddamn thing, and I'm trying to ramble on. Uh, I've broken it now. I've gone and broken it. The winner of worst packaging is fucking Walmart, because this thing is tough to get into. I really wanted to show you the whole damn bar, but I broke the thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so just like the Dollar Tree, there's no logo or anything here, but there is a little, like, uh, I don't know, a little pattern on there. That's kind of nice. I appreciate that. This over here, though, it's, it's just kind of boring. You know what I mean? Like, it's nothing. And it's barely even, like, perforated. This is, like, at least it's, like, you know you're going to get a piece. One piece. Not two pieces, not three pieces. These are bigger pieces. A great value. Here we go. Mmm, that's something special. That's pretty good. The great value. The thing that's really interesting about that one is it's flavored with vanilla. And... You don't think vanilla and chocolate go hand in hand together because they usually, you know, button heads. What's better? Do you like, you know, red or blue? Vanilla, chocolate, dogs, cats. That is really good. That is not a bad bar. I think that their candy engineers, whatever they're doing over there at Walmart headquarters, has really put their heads together and come up with some pretty good flavors. I mean, the value is a little bit better, especially in this. We're getting 3.52 ounces over a Hershey's bar, which is 1.55. So you're getting double, over double what you're getting in the Hershey's bar. And now let's move on to the Hershey's bar, the classic, the ones that everyone goes to their whole life. You're making s'mores. You know, you're going to go to the store. You're going to find those marshmallows. You're going to find graham crackers. They're all going to be lined up. And of course, with the Hershey's, you know, the classic Hershey's bar. It's got the logo on it. It's got the name. You know the name. You've eaten the name. Also, I want to mention, too, that this video is pos made possible by my friend Artie. Uh, he watched my video about Mr. Beast, the new and improved flavor, which we're going to be trying again later on here. Uh, and he said I had some bold words about Hershey's. So I don't remember really loving or hating Hershey's, and I feel bad. So this video is happening because I need to know for myself. Here we go, Hershey's. Hershey's. 
man, I got a lot of sugar coursing through my veins right now. I didn't hate that. I actually kind of liked it a little bit better than Great Value, only due to the fact that it's more chocolatey and less other than chocolatey chocolatey. It's almost like the Great Value took some kind of real basic staple, mixed a little extra chocolate and vanilla in just to kind of give it a unique flavor. It's good. Don't get me wrong. I didn't score that either, did I? All right, let's go back and rescore things at the moment before we get to Mr. Beast and the Feastables Milk Chocolate Bar. Um, I'm still going to leave that at a five. I'm going to put the Walmart at a seven. I'm going to put Hershey's at an eight right now. And the only thing that can knock Hershey's off the ladder is you, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast and his Feastables. I really enjoy the candy. I think it's really good, and I think you should try it. I'm not saying that because, you know, Mr. Beast is paying me hundreds of thousands of dollars to say that. I wish he was, but he's not. <laughs> I enjoy their candy. Do I like the price of their candy? No. Do I like the design of their candy? Yes, because this is like the share sections. You can share those if you want to. Of course, you don't have to. Uh, I'm just going to break off a square like I did with the other ones. This is head to head to head. Mr. Beast, is yours really better than Hershey's? Is it better than Great Value? Is it better than the Dollar Tree? Let's find out. Mm. Hmm. I'm trying to decide if it's that much better than Hershey's that I would give it a nine. I'm really on the fence because the flavor is fantastic. Hershey's is such a thin bar that's already melting in your hands by the time you get it to your face. I can't say that this is the king of chocolates, but it does have a good flavor. There's just not enough there. Like, why does your name carry so much more weight that you can charge so much more for your bar when here, 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 and here you're getting more? Of course, you're paying a lot more here. You're paying a lot less here and here. I don't think this deserves the title of the greatest chocolate bar of all time. I don't even think the flavor really stands you know, uh, head above anything else I've tried here today. Mr. Beast Bar is definitely still better, I think. I'm going to give it an 8.5 versus an 8 here. Hershey's has a great original classic milk chocolate flavor. If you're going to make a s'mores, chances are you're going to go for a Hershey's Bar. However, there are some alternatives now. With this great value being a really unique flavor, I would highly recommend going out and trying it. Dollar Tree, also not a bad chocolate bar for $1.25. Oddly enough, it is not the cheapest. It is not the heaviest. It's close to this one, 3.5 versus 3.52. Um, either way, though, I think I would still go with the Great Value Bar over the Dollar Tree Bar. With that being said, I guess it's going to be the Mr. Beast Bar that will be coating my Swedish Fish so I can finally do my milk chocolate covered Swedish Fish review. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this one already. I do think that Hershey's is a lot better than I gave it credit for, and I guess I owe Hershey's an apology. However, for the cost, I would definitely go with one of these two over this one any day of the week. If you're a rich man and you're willing to spend those extra bucks, I'd go with the Mr. Beast Bar every time. However, Hershey's... It's not a bad bar. It's a pretty good bar. Hershey's is a nice classic milk chocolate flavor. It's just a little bit more money. Well, let's wrap up this milk chocolate, baby, and put it to bed and call it an episode. Thank you guys for checking this episode out. If you guys are loving the content that I'm creating as much as I love creating the content that you guys are watching, would you please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hitting the little bell icon because it'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you are today. Tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier and a little bit more milk chocolatier. Together, let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain as one, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However, never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. Take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and take care of those around you who cannot take care of themselves for they are the ones that need it the most. And if no one has told you today that they love you, the vodcast loves you very much, just the way you are. All right, guys, do no harm. I'm Jason Oliver. This is the podcast. I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. Take care, my friends, and happy adventuring. Don't go to sleep with a catch it in your pocket. <laughs>